David finished all square this afternoon. Was that about fair in your eyes? Yeah, I think it's the least we deserved. I think we, on another day we we um, we could have we could have nicked it. Um, but they're a good side and they're rightly top of the top of the league based on um, based on what they've done so far. Um, but I think we more than merited a, a point. Um, we were looking for a reaction. We certainly certainly got that. And although I'm disappointed, obviously with the goals we've conceded, um, I can't ask any more of the players physically. And like I say, for me, that's a that's a bare minimum. We let ourselves down on Boxing Day and let the people that came to watch us down. Um, and that, like I say, can't be tolerated and won't be tolerated. But just based on effort alone, there, I can't I can't have a have a go at them. I guess in lots of ways the, the team talk did itself today, didn't it? Because everyone in that dressing room should have wanted to bounce back after what happened at Harrogate. Yeah, it should do, and it should do on Wednesday um, when, when when we've got a, again a, a quick turn round to try and right some right some wrongs. Um, there's nothing more, like I say, hurtful for me. Um, I'm a winner. I love winning. Um, I hate losing. It's it's worse losing when a thousand people have, have, have turned up and um, and gone to an away game and give us unbelievable backing and we, we send them away disappointed. Um, today was like I say, it was great. We've just got to manage moments where we keep them in the game. Like I say, and, and goals are always going to be a part of that. But on the front foot, we've equalised. We're the crowd are right in it, and then a poor defensive goal from ours just takes the takes the air completely out of it. Credit to them, um, they kept going. Um, the crowd stayed stayed with us, and like I say, we, we, we more than deserve that, that that equaliser. And um, we'll, we'll like I say, we'll take a point against the what are a good team, a team at the top of the league, and, and deservedly so. As you mentioned, the key moments were because at one one we were really knocking at the door, weren't we? We were, we were. Listen, goals always I suppose change change games and change the momentum of games, and, and although I didn't want to concede in the first minute of the of the second half, the equaliser puts us back on the front foot. We then pinch the ball in some good areas and have and have opportunities, and we're like I say that we're. we're Territorially, we're, we're up against them, we're returning things. We wanted to play forward today. Um, like I say, I think in order to keep everyone here sort of in it, in the in the game and the atmosphere going, we need to do that a bit more. And it, it probably is a little bit against my principles, but we'll absolutely, absolutely do it. We were doing that, and um, you need to go and get get that next one. Yeah, we, we, we give ourselves, do ourselves no favours with, with conceding, conceding a poor one. Which potentially, with 20 minutes to go, can take the crowd out the game. But listen, they, they kept with us, um, and we managed to go and get a, an equaliser. And like I said, another they could have gone a, uh, got another one. But we, listen, we've had to we've had to work really hard there. Um, physically, they Barrow as a team put demands on you to to really go and press against them, um, and. Probably from our perspective, towards the end, a little, a few little mental mistakes in terms of the tiredness with the effort we put in, which is to be expected. But all I ask them is they constantly produce that physical, um, physical output. If they do that, like I said, I think we've got, I think we've got a chance. We know that we need to um, potentially strengthen in in certain areas, um, but we're not in a ridiculous rush to do that. It's important that if we do that, that we bring in bring in the right bodies. The right bodies might be in and around us, not far from being um, returning to the team. The bodies might be around us, not involved in the squad today. We'll have to, like I say, see where we are. But, um, like I say, great to get a reaction. Um, well, that's full credit to the players. Gavin Houlihan back in the side today. Scored the first one with a lovely finish and then had a big hand in the second as well. He did, yeah. I didn't know Gav could kick it that far. <laughs> <laughs> just over there, right? Okay. No, uh, listen, it was a, a, a great, a great strike. Um, Gav's been unfortunate to miss out, and I had a chat with him the other day due to he's had a, a I suppose, a little niggle of a, an injury. He was in good goal-scoring form when when I came here, and obviously backed that up and got um, obviously scored in the FA, FA Cup games, and then again a, a, a slight niggle has sort of left him out of the team, and then all of a sudden we've got games on. 3G pitches and that wasn't 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 great for great for him. So we've had to be careful, but ultimately we've said it before about every every game, every training session being an opportunity. He's come in and, and more than grabbed his opportunity, um, and that's what we want. We need real real competition. We know we've got competition in that midfield area, and at times it will be horses for courses because the, although some of them will be similar, they're different in terms of how the how the game might pan out. But 
That's he, he, he know he's going to give us give us energy moving forward. We needed legs in there today against against their midfield three, and he was part of um, with him and Shelton and Feathers. I thought they worked the, work the socks off in there. Not only to like I say to stop a good opposition, but to go and um, get us on the foot foot and, and, and help us in the game. And just restored that pride in, in, in something to build on. You know, to, to go into boxing day to New Year's Day with. Yeah, listen, I think if, you, if you're going to do anything, um, regardless of what league you're in, you need to be be consistent. And, and too often we've been we've been up and down. One, one great result followed by a poor result, and you're sort of back to back to square one. Um, good teams always bounce back, and like I say, we, we've 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 done that today, um, which is really really pleasing. We've got to know we've got another tough game. We know what from, from two, two days ago that what what, what Harrogate bring. Um, I just need us to control us, um, and if we do that, and we're not good enough on the day, then we're not good enough on the day. Um, but we need to make sure that we control the factors that we can control. We didn't do that the other day. We've got an opportunity to, to turn that and, and make that right really, really quickly. Hopefully we can uh, we can do that and, and get a run together. We, the league's wide open. Um, we've got to make sure that come the back end of back end of April that we're in with a, a touch in touching distance, if you like, but in order to do that, we've got to have a really good a really good January.